Welcome to ESL eBook and thank you for joining. ESL eBook is a series of videos designed to help you study English. Each day there will be a new topic for you, a new lesson for you, and a video for you to help improve your English skills fast. Now sit back and relax and enjoy the lesson because this lesson is about computers and it's video number eight. Find out at the end of this lesson how you can get your free gold membership to study English with live ESL teachers for free. Now let's get studying and I hope you enjoy this ESL ebook daily video lesson. Now the title of this lesson is called Working with Computers. Well, we've been warned that this time would come, probably from the early 80s on. Warned. If you want to tell somebody to be careful, be careful, then you can warn them. For example, you might tell a child, don't play on the street, don't ride your bicycle on the street, you are warning them there are cars on the street be careful and early 80s is referring to the time so the 80s means 1980 and earlier earlier means probably 1980 1981 82 and 83 maybe 84 yes computers have finally taken over and if you doubt it we're here to convince you but not because we want to or because we can convince convince is trying to tell somebody oh you'll like it you will do it oh this is good oh why don't you buy it um, convincing could mean trying to get somebody to do something maybe oh let's go see this movie this movie is good because dot dot and dot 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 right many different things you're convincing and then telling them why they should go to the movie we want to convince you that if you don't take the necessary steps to control the rain you're going to be left behind further than you could have ever imagined. Control the rain. Well, rain would mean like a king or a queen would have a rain over a country or a colony. And control that rain would mean the computers are being referred to just like the king and queen. So the computers are taking control over top of the world. So if you don't control that reign of computers, then you will be left behind, it says. So basically, if you don't learn computers, it'll be hard for you to live. Computers are everywhere. Take a moment to try and think of a place of business where you didn't see a computer in use. From the small local computer store to the largest hospital, computers are in every gas station, grocery store, bank, restaurant, beauty shop, and doctor's office around. From a consumer's point of view, you may not think that's much to worry about. Consumer. Consumer is anybody that is buying something or they are the shopper. Okay, so if you are buying something on the internet, you are a consumer. And to consume means to use up or to use something. So when you are the consumer, you are buying something to use it. But along with computers we've also been 
infiltrated with a little thing called self-service. So infiltrated would mean it's coming in and gradually coming in and gradually coming in and eventually it's going to be everywhere where you will see it. And in this case they're talking about self-service. So infiltration would mean slowly overtaking something and coming in and it's changing. Today there are more self-serviced -serv resources than ever and in an effort to synch synchronize them with the headquarter databases they're provided via your inescapable computer. Synchronize would mean to have the same or the same information. Uh, an example would mean in the Olympics, uh, which are coming up in, in Vancouver actually in 2010, uh, in the Olympics when you see the swimmers you might see five or six swimmers, not the racing swimmers, but the swimmers that are in the water and they're like dancing to the music, but they are all synchronized all doing the same thing. They all come out of the water at the same time and they all go under the water at the same time. Here are some examples. Banking is self-serviced through the desktop cloud ATM machine. Self-serviced. Self-service means you do it all by yourself with no help from a company. It's all by yourself and these are good examples you will know what I mean. In North America we have gas stations are self-serviced through a menu clad touchscreen kiosk. So the the gas stations you can go and put your credit card in and then press some buttons and then fill your tank up with gas and then drive away. And that type of machine is on the gas tank or gas station right beside the gas where you fill up your gas and that's called a kiosk. A kiosk can be anything small that is selling something. So in this case they're selling gas. Most cash registers are Windows XP or Vista machines that send purchase details back to headquarters via the internet or a small internet. We're going to predict that all paper-based tra paper transactions, checks, money orders, etc., and documentation, think of the old filing cabinet system, will disappear. So predict. Predict is like telling the future or guessing sometimes. In this case, they're guessing and telling the future. And transactions would mean all of the interaction of money so if you buy something and you sell something that is an inter interaction or a transaction and we've got the, the examples being checks or money orders a money order is is something you can go to a bank and buy and then give that piece of paper and that's money we're going to predict that chips will replace everything that was once transported from one location to another through the trusty post office. Well, there you have it. Working in com with computers is very important, so you should learn how to use your computer. If you would like to study English more and study English with real ESL teachers, then go to www dot study dash English dash now dot com and here you can get your free gold membership to study with real ESL teachers and have real ESL lessons. Well, thank you for joining and I hope you enjoyed this lesson and until next time I'm Steve your ESL teacher. Goodbye.